Hey everyone, it's BorgBrain coming back at you with another educational blockchain video. This video is on Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum and the Binance Smart Chain Bridge and MetaMask and BSC Scan, which is like either scan for Binance Smart Chain and Pancake Swap. So it's all of that in one. Um, you know, basically what's going on is that Ethereum is super expensive and we all know this and I've been, you know, mentioning it in every video I've been doing lately. Um, because the gas costs are so prohibitive, I am moving a bunch of my value and I've been moving a bunch of my value outside of the Ethereum ecosystem because it's prohibitive to trading. And I'm worried that if uh, institutional buying pressure keeps looking at Ethereum as a store of value like Bitcoin, um, and pushing it up, it's just it's just going to keep making the ecosystem more and more unusable. And I think that, that there's an awful lot of people coming into the blockchain space right now, and they're not dropping a hundred thousand dollars on crypto. They're they're putting in two hundred bucks. They're putting in a thousand bucks. And when a transaction costs a hundred dollars on Ethereum, they're going to say, "Well, I don't understand how this makes sense as an investment." And if they use something like Binance Smart Chain, where a transaction costs like five cents, they're going to say, oh, well, this makes sense. I can buy $10 worth of something. I can buy $50 worth of something. Now, people already in crypto, you know, well, you, you, if you pay whatever you got to pay to get the token that you want. But when you got an option here where you've got not just degen picks, not just Binance projects, but now legit decentralized Ethereum-based projects more and more, uh, big ones uh, are, are are branching out. They're they're launching on Binance Smart Chain. You know, this is it's going to keep pumping. There's there's gonna, they're going to keep gaining more users. And until there's other options, this is currently just you know, it is what it is. The bull runs here. Uh, it's on the news, and people are going to keep flooding into Binance Smart Chain. Okay, so whatever you think about Binance Smart Chain, whatever you think about Binance, it literally doesn't matter. Uh, because value is going to keep going into Binance Smart Chain. Outside of Binance Smart Chain, I would say you should have a look at Cosmos, because Cosmos is, you know, IBC is about to launch, and they got a bunch of main nets, and I think there's a lot of hype with Polkadot, and, like, Dot is by far my biggest bag. I'm a Polkadot ambassador. Love Polkadot. But the pair chain auctions haven't come yet, and... I'm still waiting to hear an announcement from Kusama, which I am expecting to hear soon. Uh, but until that happens, we only have the places that we have right now, which is essentially we got Ethereum, we got Binance Smart Chain, and we got a couple uh, of the, uh, you know, kind of tender mint uh, ecosystem projects like uh, Terra, which I've covered, and Secret Network, which I've covered. And uh, I'll be covering both those ecosystems further in, in future videos. But the point is, is that when, you know, until these systems come online, they essentially, we can't play around in, in them, so we're still waiting. So very much looking for forward to Polkadot, and of course there's there's other stuff out there, but uh, I mean, for right now, like I said, Binance Smart Chain. So the purpose of this video, because I've been doing this in the background, um, you know, porting value to these other networks is that uh, I haven't done a video showing exactly how to like port value from Ethereum into, in this instance, uh, Binance Smart Chain and using the bridge. I've had a few videos showing stuff on Binance Smart Chain and today is dedicated to basically doing a whole bunch of videos kind of exploring a bunch of the stuff that Binance Smart Chain has to offer. And so this is the first in a series of videos I'm recording today and I'm planning on recording them and releasing them pretty quickly. Uh, so expect over the next few days, if you're watching this video, a release schedule of two to three videos a day for, you know, the the, the next several days. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But uh, anyway, I mean, let's let's get on. Uh, this is, uh, you know, geez, I just sometimes I just talk. So <laughs> I don't know. Hope you appreciate it. Uh, I have a tendency to babble, but I, I, I hope um anyone listening to this appreciates my uh, kind of input. I'm, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I, I just know what I know, but I, I, 
you know, I try to be just sort of objective in saying what I see, but, you know, don't, don't take this as a reason to, hey, I should take value out of Ethereum and put it into Binance Smart Chain. I, I'm just, here's my reasoning. I'm going to show you how to do it. That's it. So with that, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. Okay, so be safe, have fun out there, and uh, make sure you do enough due diligence that uh, you're making your own informed decisions, which uh, I hope if you watch these videos, you get that, because uh, I, I, I think I probably talk about that excessively. <laughs> but um, but that, that's because I think it's the absolute most important thing that anyone needs to know when they're coming into the crypto ecosystem is uh, to do your own research and make sure you're making informed decisions uh, because uh, I'm, I'm just an anonymous person on the internet. So you, you, you shouldn't be, uh, you know, anonymous or not, you shouldn't be looking at YouTube or crypto Twitter for financial advice, okay? Because, uh, you'll, you know, you'll get what you deserve if you go following random flapping heads. Um, yeah, and then this is for Crypto Society. This is the Crypto Society YouTube channel. Welcome if it's your first time here. Um, and uh, as of the current moment, I'm the only person making videos on the channel, but other people are going to start doing other uh, videos with uh, other types of content. And uh, we've got big plans. So if you want to look into the, uh, the total videos tab, you can go scrolling down and see all the videos. There's about 20 videos that are up right now, and each one shows how to do a thing, some interactive thing, inside of you know web3 uh you know kind of crypto interactive whatever okay so i've covered polka dot i've covered you know some tendermint uh, based projects uh, terra and uh, secret network and then i've done some stuff on ethereum and i've done some stuff on binance smart chain if you have any uh kind of suggestions for things that i should cover in the future be mindful that these videos are not to to kind of promote a project they're they're the purpose is to, to kind of show you how to do a thing and then kind of explain a bit of the angles around the thing that you're doing and just talk a little bit about the project just so here's some information. All the links that I go over in any of these videos are in the description below and as I go through the content you can, uh, you know, you look at the links and the, the purpose of them is so that you can go and do your own research. So if you're getting anything out of this video then I just, I just urge you to, you know, just look in the video description click on the links and, uh, you know, kind of follow the tunnel and, and, uh, you know, find something that you like and, you know, go, go get it or whatever. But, uh, uh, anyway, um, as for crypto society and myself, I'm the host Borgrain of these, uh, kind of long form, how to do a thing, uh, in web three videos. And, uh, you know, like subscribe if you want, uh, you know, Come find uh, Crypto Society people in uh, t our Telegram channel. is always very active. And uh, yeah, give me a follow on Twitter if you want. Uh, I, I post as much as I can. Um, but I, you know, just try to post, you know, good information. Uh, I'm, I am no massive Twitter influencer. Uh, and, and to be honest, too, I'm not trying to be an influencer at all. I, if, if there's any bit, there, there's, there's only one thing. That I would like to be an influencer of, which is uh, just trying to influence people to do their own research and make their own informed decisions. So I'm, you know, all of this stuff, I'm coming from a more uh, kind of an educational angle as opposed to a, uh, a moon bag, uh, you know, don't miss out 1000x gains kind of person because I'm, I'm never going to give any kind of predictions of sort of a price target or anything on any token. Like I just, I don't know. I I can't see into the future, so I, I I you know I'm not I'm not that guy. I don't read charts. I don't know. But uh, anyway, um, yeah. So with that, uh, I think we can get in on the content. We're going to. Um, I've got a MetaMask. I've consolidated some assets in a wallet, and I've got a bunch of Ethereum. And I'm going to be taking that Ethereum, and I'm going to be using the Binance Smart Chain, uh, the Binance Bridge, and I'm going to be sending those tokens into it, you know, the same wallet, um, I'm going to send it into literally the same wallet, but the different network. So the wallet is going to have value, and I'm going to send that value into the same wallet, but on the Binance, like the same wallet address, but on the Binance smart chain. And so I'll have a, a Binance pegged 
Ethereum tokens. Um, now, basically, as I'm going to show you here, we have, uh, for this one, this is a fairly simple video, um, and I've covered Binance Smart Chain a bunch, so, uh, you know, I'm just going to kind of get through it really quickly, or, you know, Borg, went, Borg brain quick. But uh, basically, in MetaMask, okay, as we see here, in MetaMask, um, I sent myself a little bit of BNB tokens. Now, BNB tokens are essentially, as you see, I got one BNB token. And you see up here, I'm in the smart chain network. I'm not in Ethereum or Robstein or whatever. I'm in uh, smart chain. So I've got my one BNB token. Now, BNB acts as Ethereum. It's You need BNB for gas. Now, this is an excessive amount because it's so cheap for transactions on BSC, but I just decided to send myself one BNB token from another wallet address. So um, this is my address. Now, as you can see, if I go to Ethereum mainnet, same wallet address, right? But I got my one point, you know, one ETH or whatever. Um, so I've never ported this much value into Binance Smart Chain before. The, the the value I have in there is essentially found money in, in my other wallet I've been playing around with, but I decided I'm going to make a series of these Binance Smart Chain videos. So let's just go in with a, a decent chunk so I can do some other cool stuff. And also I wanted to get some Atom tokens because there was an airdrop. So you know, that's, I might do that video right after this and actually just spend the bulk of this so I can get ready for an airdrop. <laughs> but uh, that'll be discussed in a future video. So anyway, um, the point is, is I got to copy this address to the clipboard. Okay, now you can get uh, like a wrapped BNB token on Uniswap. You can get BNB tokens on a bunch of centralized exchanges. You know, go to CoinGecko and figure it out, whatever. Uh, I want to save myself tr some transaction costs. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to just use the Ethereum uh, because it's so expensive on Ethereum. Why would I sell my Ethereum into BNB tokens and cost myself 80 bucks or something and then send the BNB tokens to Binance Smart Chain, which is going to be another, like, 50 bucks or whatever, and then... You know, when I can just send Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain and cost myself the 50 bucks and, and then be done with it, send the BNB from one Binance Smart Chain wallet to another Binance Smart Chain wallet for like two pennies, and then use the wrapped Ethereum, and I can sell that in Binance Smart Chain for a couple pennies to buy another asset. So that was my general plan. But I'm not going to do all that today. Right now, I'm just going to be importing Ethereum and bringing it into Binance Smart Chain. So, you know, if you are someone who's like, man, Ethereum's out to lunch, I can't afford to trade anymore, and you're like, what's this Binance Smart Chain? Well, here is the simple way to do it. Uh, you need BNB tokens. So if you if you follow this guide, and you bring in wrapped Ethereum into your wallet, and you don't have any BNB tokens, well, you can't trade anything. So just know that. So if you, if you don't have any BNB tokens, it's probably best to get your BNB tokens uh, wherever in Uniswap or something, your wrapped BNB tokens, and then use the Binance Smart Chain bridge here, and then uh, send them over. Uh, I believe there's wrapped BNB tokens on Uniswap. I'd be kind of shocked if there isn't, um, but uh, I don't know. I am I'm unsure. But uh, again, you can you can get them on a, a decentralized exchange or whatever. Uh, so maybe I'm maybe I'm talking out my butt here. <laughs> but anyway, so here we go. Pretty easy. Um, go away. Remind me tomorrow about the updates. So, MetaMask. And I connect uh, this wallet, and I exit, and I copy my address. So, here, I am going to connect my Oh, so TRX network. Okay, so boom. So I'm I'm connected to Ethereum. I'm in Ethereum on my MetaMask because I'm sending from my MetaMask wallet to another place, right? And I'm going to click my asset. I'm going to click Ethereum because I'm sending Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain like this. And then once I've got this set up on, you know, the bridge, links are in the description. I click on MetaMask because that's the wallet I'm using course you got Binance Smart Chain Wallet. Now it's set up. All right, 
So I want to leave a little bit of Ethereum in my Ethereum side of this wallet because I believe I have some assets that are staked in Bancor or something in that wallet. But I'm just going to leave them there because that's sort of like a, just a super long-term bag. It's insured. It's earning passive rewards. Whatever. Um, so I'm going to leave a little bit in there. So I'm going to put in a one point, say a 1.1. 1 .1. um, so 1.1 1 .1 Ethereum from Ethereum Network is going to go in and become a, a Binance pegged Ethereum in the Binance Smart Chain. My destination, I'm going to put in the same wallet address. Now, I'm going to go over and I'm going to just double check really quickly and make sure it's the same address. Um, just so I avoid any kind of fuddy-duddy stuff. But as you can see, it's the same address. So, back in Ethereum. Am I back in Ethereum? <laughs> I thought I was. I, I just thought I saw Binance Smart Chain on the on the top as the network. Oh, I'm in Ethereum, so that's good. So, uh, here it is. I've got my 1.1, sending it from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain. Come down here, click Next. Um, you will have to deposit talk tokens to an address provided by Binance Bridge. I will send my tokens from my own wallet. So here we go, I hit confirm. And then here it is. So of course there's QR code and you can do other things, but basically how this is working is I'm actually, I'm not sending my Ethereum to myself on another network. I'm sending my Ethereum into a smart contract and then Binance Smart Chain will basically mint a synthetic Ethereum that will go into my Binance Smart Chain wallet. So that's sort of the process. Now if I'm like, oh, I've got this, uh, you know, wrapped Ethereum in Binance and I want to exit it and I want to put it back into Ethereum, I basically use this bridge and then it will unlock that amount of Ethereum out of this smart contract and it will just pop back out on the Ethereum side and on the Binance side, that virtual Ethereum that I'm sending out, those tokens get burned. That's the basic process. So anyway, I come down here, I hit copy, I go up to my MetaMask, I go send, I paste in the uh, this address that I copied, which is the 0x3 and then uh, 952e. I go down here and I put in 1.1 and I go next and oh man that's awesome so I don't know if that's just is that the gas fee man that's Looney Tunes if that's all all it costs to export ethereum from ethereum to somewhere else geez I was expecting I, I've I've had to pay much more than that a couple of times and it confirms really quickly Okay, so that's rad. So anyway, uh, waiting for deposit. Um, so I go next. And so that's, so it sh this should just uh, take a little bit of time. Now, um, one of the things with the basically Binance Smart Chain version of MetaMask if you're familiar with MetaMask, and you should be if you're looking at this video, you can add you have to add a token to be able to see it, right? So I'm gonna go over into my Binance Smart Chain wallet. Or my, my connect the smart chain in my you know my, my, my MetaMask version of the wallet. So if I look in here, no transactions yet, basically that if that virtual Ethereum may or may not be in this wallet at this point but it's if it's not it's on its way so over in Binance here I need to be able to find the like this is you know one of the ways to do it um, so if I look up ETH and then it'll come down 
Binance Peg Ethereum. So that's the one. Binance Peg Ethereum token. And as you can see here, almost 50,000 addresses have this virtual Ethereum. So this is it, right? Almost half a million transfers of virtual Ethereum that's been done in Binance Smart Chain. So this is the one. And so, you know, right here, the contract address, I copy it. I come up here. I go into MetaMask. And, man, my computer is so slow. <laughs> I don't know. If you, um, <clears throat> just saying, if you know some place to buy a computer with crypto, then just, like, let me know, because I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm fiat poor. And I'm not crypto rich, but I, I, I think I should be able to spring for a, a, a new computer. Oh, anyway, yeah, you go in here, you go custom token. Now, just really quickly, just, you know, on the bottom, add a token. As you start adding tokens and they build up, you just scroll down to the bottom and you hit the button. It's at the bottom. In here, you go custom token. You come here and you paste in the contract address that you got from a BSC scan here. Like, the links are going to be in the description. You hit next, and here it is. So... I don't have my virtual ETH there yet, but I'm going to add the token because I want to be able to see it when it shows up. So there it is. And uh, pancake swap. I guess what we could do is, well, just to go full circle, um, I'll do a trade at the end to show how to sell some of this Ethereum to buy some other asset. So uh, for right now, we're just waiting on the confirmations, and we've got 3 out of 12. That's correct. Okay, so yes, I, I remember now. When I did this before, I've recorded a video. This video is probably going to come out before the, the video recorded, but I used Binance Smart Chain to buy DOT tokens in BSC on PancakeSwap, and then I sent them out into a Polkadot.js app wallet to show sort of to be able to bridge value uh using the Binance bridge here from one network to another. And essentially, um, that video, I don't know when it's going to come out. This one, I'm going to release it right away because I, I got to just uh, get some of these videos out. But uh, the, the point is, is that um, it, it takes some time for the sending of value into like when you're using this bridge you have to go through uh, 12 or 15 uh, block uh, confirmations it's uh, it actually takes a little bit of time and uh, but it doesn't take forever it's just it you know it, it takes more than 30 seconds or a few minutes now when you're you're on a pancake swap and you're just you know making transactions well it's it's very quick it's like you know five 10 seconds or something to do the transaction. Uh, but the bridge, this takes a little bit longer. Um, and you go click on the confirmations again. Now we're 12 out of 12. And we're waiting for confirmation uh, that the 1.1 ETH I sent will be received uh, in my wallet address, uh, my MetaMask. Uh, so as you see, my ETH has now been locked in a smart contract on Ethereum. And Binance Smart Chain is now basically minting the 1.1 virtual ETH tokens. And they're sending them into my wallet. So this, I believe last time, if I remember correctly, this part took a while. The initial stage of multiple confirmations. But then the second part, it happened very quickly. Like a couple seconds or half a minute or something. So it might be there already, and it's not there already, and we don't see any activity, but I have a feeling we're not going to have to wait too long. So, uh, so yeah, this, I mean, this is the, the, the long story short of the whole thing, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the train running while we're waiting for that to go through. So we're going to go back here and copy the token address again, and uh, for the kind of Binance Peg virtual Ethereum, and we're going to go into uh, PancakeSwap. So this is PancakeSwap. This is the, uh, I believe it's the biggest exchange on Binance Smart Chain. Um, 
I, you know, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to do uh, some cake farming in a video uh, that I'm going to record in the next video or two. And, you know, play around a bit more in Binance Smart Chain because uh, I just, you know, there's more and more and more people coming into Binance Smart Chain. And I think it's just it's just going to keep uh, keep happening until we get uh, more options uh, for gas. This is the all the people who are freaking out about Ethereum gas costs. The, the secret's out now and, and people are coming into this system more and more. And it, it's basically it's not going to stop until we get robust alternative options which are some of them are actually here already but i think like i said watch out for cosmos because cosmos is coming and that's going to be the thing so anyway we go trade exchange and we come over here so i'm going to switch this because bnb token is the native token i want to buy uh some extra bnb because right now i've only got like a little bit and it says there I've got 1.7, but oh, I think I see. I'm uh, I'm connected to the wrong wallet. I think. There we go. <laughs> so, is this the right wallet? All right. So, we can go back to the exchange. So I think that was connecting to uh, like pre-connected to my other wallet. So this should just say one. So anyway, I'm gonna switch that. I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna put in. Uh, the token contract. So I'm going to copy and paste, like a, basically paste what I copied from here. But the other way to do it is you come down here and you just uh, you you plug it in. But uh, now that's uh, kind of wondering now. Why does it keep connecting to? Oh, here. So we go. So it's auto connecting to my previous uh, smart chain wallet. I'm now connected to this one. Different wallet address one BNB token. So that was what was happening. So anyway, select the token and now, oh, did you see that? My ETH pops up automatically. Now, if you're putting in something that you didn't know, uh, like it, it's because there's only a certain amount of tokens that will pop up automatically in PancakeSwap, but if you're trying to find something and you're like, oh, it's not in the list. So what you do is you come over here, you find the token, you make sure it's the right one in BSC scan, you find it on CoinGecko or you get it from the official team. Uh, you come down here, and then you basically paste in the address, and then you, there you see it, the ETH comes up, boom. And as you see, I got 1.1 ETH in there, I've got 1 BNB tokens, I go into MetaMask, and here we are. 1.1 ETH, this is the virtual Binance Smart Chain ETH, and I got 1 BNB tokens. So, I don't want to trade all my ETH yet, because I'd like to buy something else with my ETH, um, but then... Uh, yeah, but okay, so here's my thinking. ETH probably has a certain amount of pairs inside of Binance Smart Chain, but really the the two tokens that have the most trading pairs inside of PancakeSwap are BNB token, uh, BUSD, which is a, you know, Binance, uh, you know, USD pegged stable coin for the Binance Smart Chain. And the other one that I see a lot of is wrapped BNB. So, you know what? I'm actually going to go max ETH. I'm going to get rid of all my ETH. I'm going to turn it into B BNB tokens. And I'm just going to do it because I'm going to use those BNB tokens to buy other things using this wallet in a series of videos. And let's see how much fun we can have. So we just do that. We hit uh, confirm and it's approving for seven cents. And then the swap is going to be like, I don't know, 15 cents or something. Although this is far more value than I've ever traded in Binance Smart Chain, so I guess we'll see now um, how much the swap fee is going to be, and then I'll make some comments on it um, because I'm not sure what the percentage of uh, the take is from Binance Smart Chain. Uh, I mean, for liquidity providers inside of uh, Pancake Swap specifically, if it's the same as Ethereum or whatever. So as we see here. So it's 0 0.0015, and that's in BNB tokens. And BNB tokens, last I checked, were trading at like a buck forty or a buck thirty or something. So if that was one hundred and thirty dollars, so that would be 
113, 130. I mean, basically, this is uh, it's pennies. <laughs> it's, I believe that's that's under 25 cents somewhere, so it's cheap. But anyway, we go close. It's doing the transaction. Bim bam boom. We can go over to MetaMask here if you want to track your transaction, uh, which I don't know if you really need to because the transactions are so fast, but we can go here. We can go speed up, right? It's confirmed already, but you can click here. So in your wallet, you go to activity and you click on the transaction and it will bring up a website that will show you the, uh, what would I, basically it would show you the, um, the transaction in Binance Smart Chain. I'm clicking on it, but it's, uh, oh, there it is, finally. Uh, so you go here, and you view it, and here it says, right, uh, transfer, uh, yeah, so here it is, 1.1 ETH for 14.56 BNB on PancakeSwap. Bim, bam, boom, and here uh, I got my value on the other side. So you know what? That's pretty chill. I mean, it just it cost me a couple bucks to do this. Not very much to send a couple grand USD worth from Ethereum using Binance Smart Chain into PancakeSwap. And now I've swapped my virtual Ethereum for BNB tokens. And uh, yeah, now I've got some BNB tokens. I'm going to make some more videos. Uh, that's about it for this video. All the links will be in the description. And... Uh, yeah, basically, uh, you know, have fun. Uh, as I said, remember, just just remember, if you're following this as a guide, um, that you need BNB tokens to do this. As you see here, I did that one swap. Um, but, you know, the point is, is, I used a bit of BNB tokens to sell my ETH to turn it into BNB. So if you don't have any BNB in there, um, you know, you need it. Uh, but if you have a friend that's using it, um, just tell them, hey, can you send me like 0 0.001 BNB tokens, like five bucks worth, just so you can do a couple transactions. You don't even need that much. You need, you need like 50 cents worth of BNB tokens to, to, you know, do, do your transaction from ETH to BNB. And then once you got your BNB stack in there, then you're off to the races. Cause this is, this is enough BNB to do like 50,000 transactions on this network or something like just a, a ludicrous sum. Uh, whereas on Ethereum, you, you, you know, maybe you get 20 or 30 out of it. So, uh, you know, that's uh, scalability for you. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Borg Brain signing out. I hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe. Uh, hit me up with any comments. Uh, hit me in the DMs if you, if you got some suggestions or comments on the video. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to make awesome content for all y'all. And uh, yeah, I don't know. That's about it. I'm out. Peace.